these three parts is what you're going to need. This is uh, 7 by 7 332nds wire, uh, aircraft wire. Uh, what, what I've got here today is a Sherlock uh, lock for a snare, a double ferrule. All these are 332nds. You've got a single ferrule. I'm going to show you how to make a snare. You can make them as long as you want to or as short as you want to. But this is how to do it for a 332nd. What you do is you put it in, in the bigger hole. There's two holes in these. There's one little bitty hole and one big hole. Go through the big hole first. Go through the, the slot. Then come up back around to the little hole. This part's a little difficult if you hadn't been doing it in a while like I have. Put it through there. What you're going to do is take your single ferrule and you're going to crimp that ferrule on there. And now we'll go over to the crimping station and I'll show you how to do that. You got a little bit out like that, bring it all back to where it's pretty much even. And watch it when you crimp it because it will squash out. I usually use my finger to feel it. Watch your fingers when you're doing this. Crimp that in there. I usually do two crimps. That way I know it's good and seated with a 7x7. Seven seven. That's what you end up with. Okay. Okay. What you're going to do then is just pull that back in. Like so. So you turn it sideways so it bends the wire. It don't take much, just a little bit. So it bends out of the way of the lock. This is just a safety procedure, but once you get these up waxed and all, they'll pretty much fall down by themselves, barely bumping them. But you just put that wire, that 9 gauge wire, is what we used in Alaska. You just put the nine gauge, wrap the 9 gauge wire around your limb or whatever, bring it out, make a loop on the end that kind of holds the snare where you want it. You can adjust it with that 9 gauge wire and then once it's waxed and all, it's just slip right down like it's no other. Yeah. Some people do these a little bit different. Uh, I prefer loops on mine. That way I can put in swivels. I don't have any swivels right now. And what we do is you put one side, you using a double swivel, put one side in, and then one back one side back through, making a loop. And then like I said on the other end, if you pull it up, you don't have to worry about snagging nothing. You just put it in your put it in your uh, swagger tool. Make sure you got your alignment right. However big you want your loop. Smash it down. Make that double smash. And you're done. 